This morning, I got a comment from Joachim on one of my M52 swap videos. He was asking whether I knew how to reset the oil service light on the E30 cluster after the swap. Now, this is an LED gauge that kind of counts down to your oil changes, and my understanding was that it's just something you have to live with after the swap. Your oil service life is going to go red, and it's going to stay there forever. And I answered that initially, but it didn't sit well with me. I never researched it myself, and I figured, well, maybe it's in the cluster itself. So I had a look at the schematics, I had a look at the wiring diagrams, and came up with a theory that there was one wire on the back of the cluster that initially went out to the diagnostic, uh, the round diagnostic connector that's under the hood of the E30, and that's how you reset it. Now, when you do the M52, M50 swap, you lose that diagnostic connector because it's part of the old M20 engine harness. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't reset the light. And what I did was I went out to the parts E30 and got the wiring harness for the instrument cluster, discovered that a rat had chewed it, repaired the instrument cluster well, harness, and then set up a sort of test bench where I connected it to power and found out that yes, in fact, you can reset the oil life after you do the swap. There is one wire that comes off the back of the instrument cluster and all you have to do is run this to a momentary push button that when you press it, it grounds that one wire and you can now reset the oil life indicator on your E30.